What's going on, everybody? My name is Austin. We're back for Fight Game. We are playing West of Loathing again. If you remember the last episode, we were killing gangs and taking names. We'll be doing that again. I think last time I went in, there was like two more posters that popped up. So, pow! Let's get into it. So, we got you now. The poster reads Wanted. The Pot Potemkin Gang for unlicensed. What is on my arm? I don't know. For unlicensed civil engineering and flaunting of construction regulation. Last seen in an unregistered settlement north of Dirtwater. Hmm. The post shows location of suspicious city. These guys are hiding out. You wanna check it out? Yeah. There's another one. Medical read more. Poster says wanted. The black hat bandits. For horse theft and selling counterfeit glue. Last seen headed north for the old millinery. Mill millinery, my bad. No good in criminals, but access to hat making machinery. Would you like to investigate? Yes, indeed. Okay. So, first place first. Go ahead. So, we're headed to the podium thing first. Spot Tombstone, nestled in supplies near Troy. You just not approach it. You can't read the. Description because it's covered in pepperoni mold. Pepperoni mold. Um. Hey, bar. Real jail. Non fake horse sales. Genuine TNT sandwiches. Town hall for an actual town. What's your issue? Good luck with that. The only thing that seems to be real so far is the dirt. And that outhouse, maybe? Dug into an outhouse to plan your next move. While you're pondering, you know something weird. The outhouse has a back door. So. Oh, wait a minute. So. This was. This was the sandwich shop. This was the mayor's thing, the city hall. I think this was the jail. No. This one must be the jail. This was, yeah, I think this was the jail. The hefty load. Yeah, so that must be the jail. I don't know why I pressed that button. I didn't mean to. So that must be... I think I get it. I think I have to get them all in front of the jail. You looking at the jail? Yeah, this is the horse sales. The jail. And the bar. She runs away from me. I'm gonna follow you. Take it to the jail. If I need to do is go here. And then freak her out. I'm getting close. About too close. Okay, now they're all in front of the jail, so I need to go back and cut that rope so it falls on them. Crab. Wait, what well, kind of walk right this way? No, I just have to go all the way back around. That doesn't make any sense. Nice. Gang is knocked out. You can arrest him if you want. Take him to jail. Say, that's the Potemkin gang. How'd you get him? Pushed the jail over on him. What? Never mind. So. Oh, I actually captured them. So can I capture the first two? But instead they ended up dead? Oh. Oops. I'm headed to the old millinery. You come across a goblin marching in the woods. They're taller than a typical goblin, probably because their boots are taller than the typical goblin boots. In fact, these boots are so tall they have half stuffed with socks to keep the tops from jamming the goblin's groin. The goblin sees you and marches over, looking to need to look intimidating. The goblin sees you and marches over, attempting to look intimidating instead of awkward. Can I read today? Hey! Hey, human! Hey! What are you doing in this place? This is my ground. Just stomping. You mean your stomping grounds? What? Talk to him. 
Your boots, which are very tall, I am saying. Yes, tall boots to having also tall am I. That's cool, but they are uncomfortable seeming very. I have no sensation in my feet now, so this is fine. Maybe the goblin to a stomping. Maybe in like a year they'll be properly broken in. Yeah, maybe. What is your issue? You know where work cave is? Okay, so. Walk in the millinery and find five bands from going around, lounging around in a big half, piles of half made hats. It's law! Skedaddle! The bed is scattered like cockroaches, each shutting itself behind every door. You just have to wrangle them individually. From the beginning, I guess. Well, if that's not as obvious as fuck. Changing this can be other ones. So I need two and three still. Anyone else know anything different about these hats? Because I don't. Oh, I saw that. Bam. One and three. Oh, that's obvious. I have a dent in it. Pow! That's it. Well, I can't even get into that. So. You know pants would be a lot harder to find if they didn't keep picking such thematic hats for some reason. Anyway, here's your reward. Hmm. Oh, no one popped up. Water poster says, Wanted, the Gherkin Brothers, for kidnapping, bringing, bringing kidnapping victims, an attempted sale of human flesh for consumption last seen in the old abandoned pickle factory. Let's go take care of him. Pickle Oh. So I guess we're stuck. Sure. 
floating. You feel it in a sudden electrical jolt as your hand touches the doorknob. Ouch. Oh no, you're late for your shift. Ms. Vlast is gonna be so mad. She might literally bite your head off. Okay, well not literally, literally. Probably. Okay, you stood it up. You clock in and hurriedly put on your bright green coveralls. Ms. Vlast, as predicted, is furious. Late again? You better stop taking the job for granted. We think you're gonna find a place with a nice dormitory and a reasonably priced company store like ours somewhere else? With your skills? Ha! You're doing three shifts today, Buster. Get to work, you're on pickle hopper duty. Pickle hopper duty runs you rank, and like always, keeping the hoppers filled with constant flow down the shoes when you're constantly at near sprint because you have to manage the, sh the suit shunts to keep the levers equal. If you get an uneven, an uneven, get uneven pickle levels, Ms. Blast will know. Nobody knows how she knows, but she knows. A whack from her cane is the minimum you'll get. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Then the first six hour shift, you get a brief break. You cram a stale cheese sandwich into your mouth and Miss Blast flares at her pocket watch, counting down three minutes to the second. Breaks over, second shift, go to the salt tank, now. Oh god. Imagine the salt tank isn't as strenuous as pickle hoppers, but still a never ending tension. The brand concentration has to be constantly monitored to kept a very specific measurement, which means constant adjustments. Meanwhile, you can feel yourself desiccating from the haze of salt dust that fills the room. If anything in this place could do, it's probably going to be the salt tank duty, which white lung is nasty business. Cough on your own time. Get that salinity back to normal. It's supposed to be at 976 per thousand. Parts per thousand. How hard is that to remember? 976. I'm going to write that down because I feel like I'm going to need to know that. I got my little kind of nasty here. Um, of course, I'm at a desk. Well, I got some bad pencils somewhere. That wasn't work. There we go. 976. So, 976 for salt. I don't know if y'all can see that. I actually am writing it down. Please let me out of here. You get another 180 second break for third shift. You spend most of the drinking water. The county doesn't charge for water. But you've heard a rumor they're considering it. Break's over. Get to the boiler. Oh no, please let me out. Boiler duty means shoveling coal into it first. First runs at a giant tank of boiling vinegar. It stings in here. You're trying to work with your eyes closed. Miss Blast screams if you drop any coal on the floor, or you feel the temperature get too low or too high, for just, or just for no particular reason. At least you're used to the smell of boiling vinegar. In fact, you can't smell anything anymore. Let me out, please let me out. 190 degrees, okay. I did that down real quick. 190 degrees. 190 degrees, idiot. Not 189, not 191. What's he gonna pay you for? Don't miss your sense of smell or or not coughing all the time. But you really want you don't really want anything anymore. Except to die. Let me out here. Let me out. 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 With a gasp, you finally snap out a horrible hallucination or possession or whatever the hell that was. Jeez, do you still feel the sting of vinegar vapor in your eyes? Took one in. Oh, yes, I was going to do this. So I think I have to. My guess would be I would have to go to each one and sit. The soups were equal. The salt is 976 and the vinegar is 190 degrees. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Start with the shoes. Or soups or kooks or whatever. So they're not even. Those even? Look pretty close. It is kind of time if they're even or not. Yikes. So I actually have to make it even. Actually, this one's a little high now. It's confusing. Start here. Move this one up. Move this up. 
Smiles away as he smiles as he fades away. The bones hit the ground below it. Rest in peace, poor guy. Did your job for you. You're welcome. Salt. 97.6. 531. Oh, 631. 731. 741. 751. Oh, okay. 53. 983. This is too much. Okay, this is actually too bad. So. Nine seventy six. Salt, salt, salt. Gotta salt, salt, salt. Salt is correct. It's it's finally done. Thank you. The ghost smiles and fades away. He bones hit the ground below. Feinecker has to be at 190 degrees. So that, 93. It's up by 11 degrees, which makes it 104. 125. 
Hit it one four degrees again. It's a bitch. <laughs> Which puts it at 132 degrees, puts it at 168. 10 degrees. 5 degrees. 4 degrees. 4 degrees. 9 degrees. Okay. That'll be 5 from here on, yep. There we go, 190 degrees. It's it's not right. The vinegar is 190 degrees. It's it's finally done. Thank you. Go smiles as it fades away. Go to the ground below. Rest in peace. That's all done. And what else I can do? And I guess I could factory activation lever. You pull the lever and there's a defeating roar as the old machinery springs into life. After a while, a load of, of pickles is deposited into the receptacle to the left of the switch. You got an item. Three ghost pickles. Huh. All that work for three pickles? Or just place it out of business? Yep. Sorry, I'm blowing my nose a lot. Find a crate of supplies bound for a nearby army fort. Looks like it fell off the wagon, or the driver fell off the wagon. It was too dark to trap it down. In any case, looks like it got knocked open by the fall. Got a silver bullet and military grade whiskey. Get notifications, and I'm not sure why. Oh, it's from the mobile. Okay. <laughs> Wipe my ass across all this. I have any mail. Damn. Jail. Oh. That's kind of talented though, that walk. It's not even stupid why. That's his talent. What in the world? Skirking Brothers. And please, I don't want to talk about it. It was really weird. I believe you. Here's your reward. Oh. Huh. Looks like these things are still twitching. Better lock them up just to be safe. Make some bundle. Oh look at that, there they are. <laughs> oh, hey, good to see you. No, you've really cleaned up the area. I'm plumbing out boundaries for you. You may get to be sheriff? No, but I guess you can be marshal if you want. Oh, what a cool business. Put my little name. Well, thanks again for your help, Marshall. No problem. So Marshall is not my middle name. Yeah, I had to change the name. I had to, I tried a file so I tried to file a trademark, but it turns out there's always something called a hot dog. What is it? Trust me, you don't wanna know. I wish I didn't know. Anyway, this tinkle letter removed and I'm in business. Well, that's something. I'm kinda curious. I want everything. Let's see how well this goes. There you go. Got some business for you, my friend. Come on, my friend. Got for me. Nothing. You wink. I shall buy all these. I've heard that it might is very, very important. Hey Lloyd, you open anything? Oh yeah, well, I guess uh, before I finish up this level, I'll go check out the railroad camp because I know I have to talk to Gary. He brings it up. 
way that he hits you from behind. You turn around to see a Hellcat pawing the ground and eyeing you with an ill intent in his dead black demonic eyes. Charge it. Ow. I will have you know, I am a cow puncher. I will punch the living shit out of you. 14 to 15, 5 to 6, just BAM! I'm going to 14 each time. That should work. BAM! 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 Speaking of cows, I actually had to go to a, a CBT, which if you guys don't know CBTs, it's Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. Um, it's like group therapy, it teaches you pretty much change your way of thinking. Um, and I was there, and of course it was our last day, and we were talking. Well, this girl was talking about owning a cow, like owning like a farm with a bunch of cows and stuff, because um, I guess like for her, seeing cows, how peaceful they are, kind of calms her down. And she started talking about it, and she was like, She's like, yeah, have you ever looked at a cow and thought, and she just paused for me and I was like, thought how good it was going to taste? Because I love cows, like when it comes to eating them, but I don't think I could ever, like, run a cow farm. Alright, are you in charge? I was wondering if there's anything I can do to help. Want to know something? I love trains. Oh, ever since I was a little boy, huge, magnificent, roaring iron beasts, they were magical to me, like dragons. The opportunity arose to take on a magic bit of this real life, I jumped on it like a shot. And you know what I learned? What's that? Organiza organizing and building and running one of these operations is the most amazing pain in the ass you'll ever imagine. If you want to help? Congratulations, you're a new foreman. I'm going home to play with my models. I guess I'm in charge now. Where are you? I guess I'm the boss now. The man looks heaven now. Well, suppose it can be worse than that last clown. It sends his hand. Name's me. I'm your assistant. What's the situation? Well, I'm sure you didn't miss seeing the giant pile of rocks over there on a path. The Sidbury said there isn't any suitable mountain pass, so we can't reroute around it, even if we had the months it'd take. Any ideas? Well, by my calculations, we could dynamite it clear. Not too much trouble. Problem is, it takes a lot of dynamite, a whole year's worth, I figured. We used to have to keep that much on hand for emergencies, uh, just as this one. But a pack of goblins stole it. Sneaky little apartments. All right, I'll get back for you. Glad to hear it. The goblins are holed up over Gustavsen, Gustavsen Gulch. It's a real rough place. You might want to spend some more time getting laid land, especially if you're about to go with, plan to go and get blazing. I don't need to do that. I got Gary. We don't need this specific dynamite, though. Any, any you can lay your hands on would be fine as long as there's enough of it. What are you fuckers doing? Get to work. Say, it's a nice watch. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this gal who runs a store south of here named Buttonwillow, Buttonwillow, Nick, Nick something. Where's the store exactly? Oh, well, you can't miss it. It's right between a cactus and a different cactus. Oh shit. Discovered a new mo map location. Buttonwillow McKittrick store. Thanks. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. This guy should never be charged with a switch. Wake up, get to work. Please be patient. Yes, please. I'm on the job. Gary, what the hell are you doing? Wow, wow, wow. I understand much bigger than, uh, than close up looking and hearing of people inside. It has eating them. It's it's not a snake, it's a train. Those passengers are inside. They're actually, I'm clear how this works. <laughs> no, Gary's fooling with you. The longer train is not eating people. Big machine with, heavy, with wheels having. Okay, cool. Many loud screaming. Uh, sure. Oh, this is where we're going. We're gonna go have fun with your friends. Hello, hello, hi, hello, being a mayor, welcome. Now, going away, please. Gary taps on the shoulder. What's up, Gary? It's okay, I will handle this. Gary and the mayor conversed for a bit, too quickly for you to follow up this thing. What are you saying? He's saying, okay, for giving dynamite, boom. But you have to riddling first. Riddling? Yes, 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 a contest game. Okay, what's having him? Mayor cleared his throat. A crazy thing, having no legs at morning, no legs after noon, and also no legs at night. What is that? Hey, Gary not helping, that would be cheating. Bad, bad. Man, no-legged horse, an egg, snake. What goes with an egg? An egg. 
Okay, yes. An egg has having no legs, ever. Correct. Well, except if it hatches something, then legs having. But then it's not egg anymore. So who's caring? Okay, sure. That's real. You ready? Yep. More eating. Ladder getting. Ladder getting, shorter living. What am I? What are you? You're a mayor. Oh, uh, okay, yes, I am a mayor. Correct. Hooray. Hooray. Okay, one more riddling. You ready? <coughs> <coughs> oh. Metal think with teeth. In a hole while turning around, entrance to my house is found. Where is it? An egg? No, did looking there already. Walk away in shame. What do you think, Gary? You got any ideas? Hooray, right, hello, a goblin village. How nice to introduce you. I must admit, I am curious. I'll do I'll see you talking. Okay, goblin right here standing. Let's greet them. Oh, also, Gary finding a key. Maybe important here. That would have been helpful. Yeah, I've already been through this. I have it here. Yeah, you saw me. You went really close for sure. Hooray. Here, you can die in my having. Don't eating it all at once. Guys, they eat dynamite. That's hardcore. Okay, so I guess I'll get out of here now. We'll go to back to the railroad camp. Find a pair of saddle bags slung over a tree branch. Stenciled libraries or stenciled letters on the side read property of Fort Owl, All Dead Library. Fence Cow Punch in 21. I'll read that real quick. There's a complex pronunciation guide written by a linguist who raised by cows, giving menacing mood. It's good to the muscle of all your opponents. There's a chapter written by a guy who survived 17 different, different near-fatal gores. He really learned a lot about getting gored. He gives gore skills to attack entire row of enemies. The chapter about situational awareness and important trying to survive in a world of demon cows. He gives everyone that first that creature maximum EP by 2. I want more risk move. Set on a rock and move on a rock and move repeatedly until you master the techniques in the book. Finally, you unleash an earth-shattering move that destroys the rock you're sitting on and the book. Moops. I meant oops. Hey, yikes. No. Yep, here you go. Good, perfect. This is a trick. It's fine. Hang back for a bit. While I get the fellows to set up charges, and I'll let you do the honors. Be consulted with the other workers. They inspect the rocks for a time. Eventually, one of them shrugs and puts a whole crate of dynamite up next to the rocks to wire the detonator. Sweet. I ain't gonna have any questions. Fuck it. A rock person. A very large and very angry looking thing? Guy standing here? Apparently, it's a little peeved for having your supply of dynamite blown up next to it while I was sleeping. I'm gonna handle this. Fair fight, that's how. I'm gonna blow it up with dynamite. It's like, oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm blowing it up with dynamite. Fuck you up. Bam! 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 Blow you up. Bam. Bam. Oh, that's not bad. Might as well get beefy. I'll just do the last couple damage I owe. Bam. Bam. I got it. Hooray. Okay. Well, I guess I'll stop it here. So, that'll be all for this episode. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or criticisms, put them in the comment section below. Tonight, be watching out for a playthrough. Actually, won't be tonight. What the fuck am I saying? It'll be tomorrow. Probably tomorrow afternoon. We'll be playing it tonight, though. Me and uh, Gamer Forever, aka Brian, will be going through and playing Minecraft again, just like last week. It should be up sometime tomorrow. So, that's all I got for this episode, and I will see you all in the next episode.